For the second time in as many years, Needham Girls Basketball played its way into the D1 South Section Final. The stage was set for Saturday, March 7th. The storyline was exactly what everyone wanted. Number one, Bridgewater Raynham versus number two, Needham. The Rockets defeated the Trojan last year in the section semifinals in Bridgewater. This year's contest was about as evenly matched as could be and was destined to come down to the final seconds. So Rockets start off showing great ball movement. Caroline Clem triple teamed down low, finds Avery Johnson. Top of the key three is good. Kiara McIntyre coming down, goes away from the screen, uses the opposite hand and finishes off the glass. Johnson now returning the favor to Clem, drives and dishes to her on the wing and she knocks in the three. Off a rebound, Clem would go coast to coast, drives down the middle and puts up a floater, drops in for two more. Rockets would hold Bridgewater Raymond to only four points in the first quarter. 15 to nine Rockets now, three minutes gone in the second. Kiki gets a pass from Madison Shaker, knocks down the three. McIntyre now full steam ahead in transition. She would beat everyone to the rack. Little sidestep, lays it in up off the glass. 20 to 11 Rocket lead now, largest of the game. Kenzie Manaluna is trying to answer for the Trojan and does with the sidestep she gets to. Next, it's Shea Boland's turn. The stud sophomore starts at the elbow, spins her way inside, somehow gets it to go, and Needham would go up 24 to 18 as we head to the half. First score of the third comes from Bridgewater Raynham. Talia Ta gets a screen, turns a corner, throws up a floater, she bounces in. Trojan starting to come to life. Manalunas finds Ta who bounce passes to Bolin. One dribble post move is good. Bolin this time creating second chance points. Rips down the board, puts it back up in with the contact. She would complete the play, giving BR the lead. One second left in the cur in the quarter. Watch this, Lucy Dorian steps back, launches a three, nails it, ties it up at 30, head into the fourth quarter. By the way, that would be only the only field goal for Needham during that quarter. Early fourth now, Clem and Kiki able to connect, gets two more. Several lead changes throughout this quarter. McIntyre fakes using the screen, goes to the rim, finishes over two defenders. Trojans would answer quickly though, find Manalonis deep behind the arc. She sinks the three and ties it up at 36. Manalunas now left alone, drives and pulls up for the easy mid-ranger and she knocks it down. Next play, Bowen finds Amber Silva in the corner. She drains the contested three, putting the Trojans up five. But it wouldn't last long because here comes Kiki. Gets to the rack and lays it in with the contact, completes a three-point play. Next possession, run the same thing for Kiki and she just wouldn't be denied, finishes and ties it back up. And then, guess who? Yup, it's Kiki, again, with the same result. The star senior goes on a 7-0 run and takes the lead back 43-41. to But the Trojans would get one last chance, 10 seconds to play. Madeline strives, draws in the defense, kicks it out, and the three is good. And unfortunately, it would be the game-winning shot as Bridgewater Raynham would end Needham's season in a heartbreaker, 44-43. Despite the loss, the Rockets conclude one of the most memorable and successful seasons in program history, finishing with an impressive record of 21 and 3.